Oh, the stuff Walt Disney doesn't want you to know about. I was watching this very well done video called The 7 Most Gruesome Deaths at Disneyland and thought about, hmm, I wonder what bad history is behind Walt Disney World. This is the unofficial sequel to The Gruesome Deaths at Disneyland, but this time with Disney World. February 11, 2004, over in the restricted area of Magic Kingdom, a 30-year-old employee dressed as Pluto was killed when he was run over by a Beauty and the Beast float over the Share Your Dream Come True parade. According to Disney officials, this is the first fatal incident to a cast member. It should be noted, when you wear a costume of a mascot, you're at a huge disadvantage. Your hearing and vision is limited, so they really depend on other workers to have their backs to avoid situations just like this one. For the record, Splash Mountain is my favorite ride at Disney World. The whole animatronic show is just amazing. And then, the long drop. But for some, it's terrifying. On November 5th, 2000, a 37-year-old man from St. Petersburg, Florida, freaked out so much that he tried to escape the ride while it was moving. He was critically injured when he got struck by another ride vehicle. He soon died at the local hospital. On the night of June 14, 2016, the Graves family, who's from the state of Nebraska, went to the Seven Seas Lagoon for a quick swim in the shallow waters. Out of nowhere, the two-year-old son, little Lane Graves, was attacked by an alligator and dragged underwater. On the next afternoon, they found his body, cause of death, drowning, and traumatic injuries. Disney was soon built a fence around the lagoon, but for the Graves family, it was a little too late. September 12, 1992, during the theme park's closing hours, a 37-year-old man entered Epcot with a shotgun in his hand, demanding to see his ex-girlfriend who was working at the park. Security guards intervened, but were quickly overwhelmed when he fired four blasts and took two of them as hostages over at the restroom near the Journey into Imagination Pavilion. Surrounded by the police, he let the hostages go and came out of the restroom with a shotgun to his chest. After some words were exchanged with the deputies, he took his own life with a single blast to his head. I have no doubt he was planning to commit a murder-suicide with his ex-girlfriend. February 14, 1999, a 65-year-old part-time custodian was cleaning the Fantasyland Skyway station platform when the ride was accidentally turned on by employees who were unaware of his presence. In an attempt to save himself, he grabbed onto a passing gondola. Sadly, he lost his grip and fell 40 feet to his death. The ride was permanently closed down on November 10th, 1999. August 22nd, 1980, an 11-year-old boy from New York City went swimming into the River Country Water Park over by the campground. He would contract the deadly infection of brain-eating amoeba, which entered his nose and attacked his nervous system. Once the infection enters your system, you only have 2 to 15 days left before it becomes fatal. In 1996, Walt Disney built a suburban community called Celebration. However, the road that leads into the community has become a death trap. Drivers who miss a stop sign and fail to turn left on a dark road to Celebration Boulevard can easily end up in the deep waters. September 28, 1998, three Massachusetts tourists went missing. Nine months later, scuba divers found all three bodies, including their SUV vehicle, inside the Delhi Pond. November 8, 1998, 18-year-old Sarah Ann Gusher of Maitland, Florida was killed when her car left the road and smashed right into the pond. Authorities have pulled nearly a half a dozen vehicles from the small lake. To prevent future accidents, Walt Disney has built a large wall and flashing warning lights to keep the drivers out of the dangerous Celebration Pond. most magical place on earth.